In the previous video, we discussed about the classical pathway of complement system. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about the alternative pathway of complement system. The alternative pathway of complement system is the antibody independent complement pathway, where we do not need any antigen antibody complex to drive the complement cascade as we saw in the classical pathway. Here in this pathway, we need three components. We need factor B, we need factor D, and we need a protein protein. The factor D cleaves factor B, and from this factor B, we get BB, which is the part of fluid phase convertase. And protein molecule helps in attaching the C3B molecule towards the cell membrane of pathogen. Now let's see in detail how this alternative pathway of complement system is driven. First of all, we have C3 molecule present in our plasma. It gets under spontaneous hydrolysis and gets converted into C3H2O. And in this reaction, thioester hydrolysis occurs. Then we have factor B in plasma. And this factor B is acted upon by factor D and converts it into two fragments, BB and BA. The BB is the larger fragment and is active. And this BB combines with C3H2O and we get the C3H2O BB and this complex molecule is called the fluid phase C3 convertase. Although this fluid phase C3 convertase works on few molecules of C3 and converts it into two fragments C3B and C3A. And now to this C3B molecule, the BB molecule which is already present in the plasma combines with it, thus making a fully fledged stable C3 convertase in the form of C3B BB. So now we have C3 convertase of alternative pathway, the stable one. Now this C3 convertase acts upon C3 and we get C3A and C3B. Furthermore, we see along with protein molecule, this C3B joins with C3 convertase, thus making the complex as C3BB3B, which acts as a C5 convertase of alternative pathway. Basically, it's analogous to a C5 convertase of classical pathway. Now from here, this C5 convertase gets into the target membrane and from here it acts upon C5 protein and converts it into C5B and C5A. This C5B gets into the target membrane as shown in the figure and also recruits extra three complement proteins that's C6, C7 and C8. And in the pathogen membrane we have now C5B678 complex. And this C5B 678 complex has the property to polymerize the C9 molecules into the pathogen membrane. So in the next step we see the C9 proteins are being polymerized into the target membrane. And eventually we get the poly C9 along with other complement proteins in the target membrane. And this eventually forms the MAC that's membrane attack complex as shown in the diagram. And through this membrane attack complex or through this pore, many electrolytes are getting exchanged without any regulation. And ultimately cell loses its electrolyte balance and there is an osmotic lysis of pathogen cell. So this is how the alternative pathway without any help from antibodies works within our body to combat these pathogens. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.